Well, well, dear viewer, let's enjoy some late night. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey, guys, this is my review for Late Night with the Devil. This is a movie that Shudder got into theatrical releases. I had not heard anything about it, but the instant I saw the trailer, I knew I wanted to see this. This film had a goal of representing late night 70s, 80s talk shows to a T, and it fucking nails it. It had a goal of giving you a slow burn, a slow flicker that would grow and grow and grow. And even when you could see something coming, it would give you a turn that would make you forget what you had seen and when the conclusion came to be, it all came full circle. It had a goal of giving you fantastic performances, really good writing, really good characters. First off, gotta definitely say that David Das Malakin, apologies if I said that wrong, does a fantastic job as Jack, the host of this show. It follows this guy called Jack who runs a late night show called Night Owls, and it actually gives a really good kind of backstory via sort of mini documentary at the very beginning talking about his rise to his position, how he ran the show, the relationship with his wife, and his relationship with other groups of a certain nature, and how he's kind of in a battle for ratings. And he's not a dick. He's not this selfish, self-entitled asshole. He likes his job. He enjoys his job. He's a genuine person who might have made mistakes, but he is trying to do the right thing, if maybe a little bit overzealous or overambitious and that's what leads to the events of this film where they are exploring the paranormal on a halloween night and they have an interview with a doctor and a girl who is regularly possessed by a demon and tonight they are going to perform a conversation with said devil when well you think you may know how shit like this goes but it actually gives you a good turn because it doesn't jump into it. This is something that I've seen from a few other Shudder films is that they kind of jump the gun really quick. This one didn't. It went to great lengths to help build this reality, to make it seem like this talk show is a real show, like these are real people, this is a real element. This is a real situation. This is just footage from a night that has been kept in secret for certain reasons. As I've said before, the pacing is ace. It builds towards itself excellently. It builds towards its fears, its mystery, its character development with an ace stroke. And all the while keeping this just rad aesthetic, doing the boob tube formatting to kind of going a little bit wider, a little bit Panasonic when it goes into these interviews of this backstage footage that's happening in between the live show segments. Again, it is really held together by David's performance as Jack. You are with him on this. You can understand where he's coming from. He does things that you're like, okay, that may not be the smartest move but I can understand why he thinks that is a good idea because it is for a means. And that's probably something else too. For a horror movie, there's no real fucking idiot in this. And that's a usual given. You always have a character or characters that are fucking morons. And that was not the case. Everyone's smart in this. Everyone is a intelligent person. Everyone here is a genuine character. And I love that. And then when it comes to the conclusion, some people might see this as jumping the shark. It does go a little bit off course, but it is for a reason. And I at first had to be like, wow, okay, hang on. That's a bit, that is a kind of maybe a bit too much. But as I could see it start to formulate, it's pulling you towards something. Essentially putting a bag over your head and waiting to the absolute perfect moment to pull it off and reveal itself to you. The acting's great, the story's great, the aesthetic's great, sound, music, all really, really good. There is one thing I do have to make a mention about because it has been talked about. There was a use of AI-generated art in this. The directors have said that essentially they used three things that were made by AI and then they kind of altered them. What they're talking about, at least from the interviews I've seen, you know how shows would cut to commercial to like be right back. There are a few of those in this movie and they were apparently made by AI and then they were altered by humans. I'm up for AI being an inspiration, but to take it and then mold from it 
that's kind of taking someone's job. But the thing is, too, is I think that might have been done by someone in the art department to do it because I've worked in these departments to see this be done. Regardless, there are people who are boycotting the movie for this reason. Don't. It's fucking fantastic. Yes, call this out, but there is no reason that you should not give this movie the attention it deserves. The absolute fantastic story, the fantastic acting, the great work by everyone in this movie from the background to the side characters, to all of the crew. They killed it with this movie, and you should see it. And that is why I am going to give Late Night with the Devil a 7 out of 7. I love when you get to see a genuine horror movie. I love when you get to see something done differently, and it's done well. And it is done exceedingly well in this movie. You should absolutely go and see it if you have the chance. I would recommend seeing it in theaters. I saw it on a matinee showing, and there was actually a lot of people in there, and everyone was respectful. We all laughed at the same parts. We all went, oh, shit, at the same parts. And even when the credits were rolling, there were people who were like, is that really it? Is it over? But that's all for me, guys. Please, for those of you who have seen this, let me know what you thought about it. I'm very curious to see what your guys' thoughts are. Also about the AI thing. If anyone's got any kind of interpretations about that, please let me know as well. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.